Okay, spinach. Hi Lisa. So what we need to do is first, I can just see from here this is really good. Loretta is here, she's watching, so she can probably see your pictures as well. So we need to cut this up, the spinach. Just cut it into small little pieces, like so, until they get to the very end. Okay, and throw your spinach into the water. I use two because spinach tends to sink. Spinach is great, lots of iron. It's really important to get your sink, your, your zinc. Um, and your protein and babe Lisa said hello to you as well <laughs> so we'll cut all this up hopefully my sound sounds good I did put a lapel mic on so hopefully it's clearer all goes inside so that's your spinach in your water now don't forget you need to add some salt and some oil so just some normal salt on top I'm just scared of salt and just some olive oil to put inside, okay, and my spoon has gone missing, but I have another spoon. So that goes in there, and we want to make sure that you stir the salt and the oil into the spinach, okay, then put the lid on top, so that way it will come to a boil, okay. Now you don't need to overcook the spinach okay you can steam it I prefer to boil it but once it boils then that's it we'll take it out and we'll drain it and you'll see what we're gonna do so that's there cooking in the background that's how we can get our prep time working really quickly so the next thing we want to do so we don't want all this put to one side so the next thing we want to do is we want to start cooking the chicken but before that you can see here I've got two plates well two plates one two all right so what we need to do is you need to get your rocket all right so we all know what rocket looks like okay and I want you to put the rocket on top of the plate okay like a bird's nest you know bird it's there. So you, I'll show you how it looks. Okay. So your plate will look like that. So it's a bed of rockets. Okay. A bed of rocket. Just like that. Okay. I better do two because then Loretta will get upset. Okay. So, so bed of rocket. So this one, this particular dish has lots of greens. It's a good mixture, it's greens, has protein, has a bit of calcium, um, so it's really, really good. Okay, so let's put as much rocket as you want. So you can see rocket and rocket. Okay, now what I want you to do next, I want you to start to put some oil. Check on your spinach. Okay, I did cheat a bit and had my water boiling beforehand, but I want to show you how it's all done. So the next thing you want to do is some, some olive oil and put some olive oil in your frying pan. Okay, there we go. Olive oil in your frying pan. Okay, make sure it's heat because we, we want to cook the, the crumb chicken or if you prefer to have breast chicken, that's fine. You can marinate your breast chicken really easy. Olive oil, salt, pepper, and just your favorite spice. I mean, if it's garlic or chili, just sizzle it. Make it your own flavor. That's the whole thing. When I teach people how to cook, just make it your own. You can see what I'm cooking. It doesn't mean you have to cook exactly what I'm cooking. Just make it uh, your own, that to your own flavors. Okay, so my spinach is boiling which is really good. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to swap because that, this is a big hot plate. Okay, so what we want to do is next is we want to start cooking the chicken. So the whole, the whole trick is that is cooking the, the, the foods and, 
a certain order, that way you can save time of prep time. So we know we're going to do the spinach, boil the water, throw the spinach in. Get the pan happening. Throw some rocket on top of the actual plate, then everything else will work straight in. Okay, so you'll see here my chicken. Okay, so I've just put olive oil, salt, pepper, and I've garnished this with a bit of oregano. Okay, there's a nice flavors to it, it's beautiful. Okay, so you can see it's just like nice and thin. Oh, and here we go, cooking in the king's kitchen. Okay, so this will give you, I've just, I've got about 400, to 500 grams of chicken uh, for two people. Just depends um, how much you want. But normally you go for a portion size is normally the thickness of your hand and how big your hand is. All right, that's your, the palm size is your portion size. So if you've got big hands like me, I can eat a lot more. I need joking. Okay, so we've got that. Now the spinach, is done okay so we'll leave that there try not turn over the meat too many times because if you're flipping on flipping off flipping on flipping off it what happens you tend to dry it so if you do anything all you have to do is lower the heat on this particular one so the chicken is cooking so that's on low now while it's cooking we need to drain the spinach. Okay, so let's drain the spinach first. Okay, so I want that to drain. The reason being that there's not too much water inside. There's a bit too much water inside the pot, just give it a wipe. We're gonna put this back on, back on heat. Now, we're gonna make the spinach really tasty. So first of all, we want to add some more olive oil. Okay. I need to lower this. Okay, that's good. Make sure that your chicken is cooking well. Okay, that's fine, okay, touch that. Olive oil is there. Then, what you're going to do is you're going to add some garlic to your pot because this is where we're going to give the spinach a really nice flavor a bit more organized today okay goes in there You can use three or four uh, cloves of garlic. It really depends. But because you've got a lot of spinach there, you want to make sure that you've got enough in there. Okay. Keep an eye on your chicken and keep an eye on the heat of where you're going to put your spinach as well. Okay, chicken's growing really well. We'll grab the spinach. Okay. <laughs> the brother's gonna murder me before the water on the on the floor. Alright, so we're gonna put the spinach back into the pot. Okay. Give it a stir. Lower your heat. Turn your turn your heat off straight away. Okay, because this is pretty hot. We're going to add a little bit more olive oil. Okay. The heat is off. And we're going to add just a little bit more salt and pepper. Okay. The heat is off. Salt and pepper. Make sure you turn over your chicken. Okay. 
And this is a sort of meal that you can prep, especially with the chicken. You can have the chicken cooked on the weekend and have it already done. So if with the spinach, you could almost prep that as well and you've almost already have this already done in containers so it's even faster for you to be organized. But there's nothing that beats nice fresh spinach. But the chicken, yeah, a chicken wouldn't say no to doing that. Okay, so I've just put the heat back on again, just to give that a bit more flavor. Okay, chicken's there. And that's there. So we've got probably another two, three minutes for the chicken to cook. Now, what we need to do is, we need to now look at how we're gonna, we're not gonna put boring, we need to dress the actual rocket, okay? So what we need to do is, is we need a lemon. You can use lemon, you can use lime, but we wanna put a bit of lemon to it to give us some nice flavor, okay? Here we go. I love gadgets, aren't you? I know Loretta loves gadgets. The whole place is full of gadgets. Okay. Half each. So dress your bed of rocket with lemon or lime. Okay. Now, I like chili. I have a bit of chili oil. So I'm gonna add chili on mine because chili is very good for metabolism. Okay. And Loretta likes a bit of other spices on top. This one is like a rosemary flavor. Okay. So plate with a bit of rocket. We'll put lemon on top and we'll put a bit of oil. Salt and pepper, just a touch. Cucaracha, cucaracha. All right, now, so that's garnish. The next step that we need to do here is we need to put the chicken on top of the actual bit of rocket. Okay, our spinach has been turned off. I'll leave that to one side and that's cooking really well always keep an eye on your heat and just if you need to flip it over once more time let's do it at the same time now while that's cooking and we're getting to the very end of this particular cook-off I do apologize for going more than 10 minutes but it's very important to not only show you how to cook and have fun but also just give you some tips and a bit more education as well this is a work this is one of my one of our go-to meals when we don't know what to eat in actual fact this is Loretta's dish when I first met her um, over two years ago now two and a half years ago so um, and she normally does the crumb chicken but only recently I've decided to do it with the breast chicken so but you can also do this with um, fish as well so whatever your dietary um, needs are. If you're not a meat eater, that's fine. Just add tofu. You can really, all you really have to change is the protein section, but everything else will stay the same. But remember, make it your own. Okay, so the chicken is coming along really well. Make sure you don't overcook it because there's nothing worse than chicken being dry. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start to put the chicken on the plate. But before that, I want to make sure it's turned off because we don't want to put really hot chicken on top. So make sure that's cooked. And most of the time when you take the heat off, especially with a fry pan, it's still cooking anyhow. So you want that to settle down just ever so slightly. Okay, it's the one side. I really hope you're enjoying the cooking shows. In actual fact, what I've done, what I've been working on for the last couple of weeks, I've put together some um, delicious meal plants, um, and they are wonderful vegan, 
protein, low carbohydrates, and plant-based vegetarian. And there's over 50 recipes in these packs, and I will put a link where you can have a look at them, or you can download them, and they're two weeks worth of meal plans, over 50 recipes. I give you a shopping list, what to buy, a planner, everything's organized for you. All you need to do is to go out shopping and buy the ingredients. The recipes have wonderful photos and images and exactly the nutritional information and how many people it will serve as well. Okay, now the chicken is ready. Okay, so we're just gonna put chicken. I'm gonna push this to one side, because you can see. You can see the bit of rocket. Oh, goes on top. Okay, on top. Just like that. To one side. So now that's done, the next step, you can see, the next step is that parmesan cheese. Okay, now parmesan cheese has lots of protein in it as well. If you don't like parmesan cheese, you can use any other cheese that you like. So we're gonna grate it on top. Okay. I do the redders. How good is this? Let's cook, I can cook and then we eat afterwards. Love it, I love letting people know that losing your weight for the very last time isn't hard. Planning preparation, having a go, and don't ever go on to the diet merry-go-round. You'll see there's a podcast, I was invited to Leanne's podcast, and we spoke, I spoke about how to get off the diet, the, the merry-go-round of diet. So don't, we'll talk more about that. So now the, we've done that. Okay, done. The next step we want to do is I have some parsley. We're gonna throw some parsley on top. Just there, we're gonna leave a little bit more left over. And next step is the spinach. Okay, so you can see this plate, right? Okay, so we put the spinach on top. Spinach on top. Oh, God, it smells nice. It's got the nice garlic going through it and all. The aroma is sensational. Okay, don't be scared to put every little piece of rocket. Our next step now is getting towards the end. We'll get another lemon. And we want to put some lemon on top, the whole lot. A little lemon. So you can see that I'm doing two, not just a one. This on top. Bit of parsley. I love chili, so I'm gonna put, put chili on mine. Straight from the herb garden. I hope you love my herb garden. And, piece on resistance, and it's done. Look at that. That is your bed of rocket. So once again, I'll go right through it really quickly. You first of all, have your spinach cook it in the background. Have your chicken cook it in the background. Bed of rocket, season it with lemon, salt, pepper, and whatever you want to do, if it's oil or lime. Then put the chicken on top. Once the chicken's on top, 
grate your parmesan cheese and then you can put your spinach on top of that another squeeze of lemon and you can garnish it with I decided to garnish it with parsley and chili so there you go boys and girls another dish from the king's kitchen and it's a dish that you can really enjoy and it gives you lots of greens and if you don't want protein that's fine as well once again thank you so much for tuning in to let's cook we'll be on again this time next week i will put the recipe ingredients on tomorrow i've also started a new segment which is next monday which is called let's chat at 10 o'clock which goes for about half an hour and we talk about various topics on weight loss and well-being i will post a question on thursday asking for some feedback on what topics you'll love for me to, to to cover and i will cover what you want because at the end of the day i'd rather know what you guys want so that way i can give you the information and make this group the best group ever it's the only group out there that will teach you what push on diets i'm not here to take food away from you i'm here to encourage you to keep on eating and don't ever need to hop on the diet merry go round so once again i'll have links down below that you can download your free 150 page inspiring weight loss planner as well as where you can purchase online the 14 days meal plans that will cover from vegan protein low carbs and plant based that you can from my website and that you can download those immediately at the same time as well once again thank you for your precious time bon appetit and we'll see you same time same channel same kitchen next week until next time keep on living your best life